Right now, Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza is getting ready to deliver his annual budget address inside City Hall. This as the city seeks solutions to fix a massive structural deficit that could skyrocket over the next decade. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russum has the developing details with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. One thing we will be listening for in the mayor's speech today is how he plans to use nonprofits, meaning the hospitals and the colleges, to see how they can come together to make more money for the city. Sustainable path. Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza's second budget address comes as the capital city faces an uphill battle of bettering the city's finances. Right now, the city is facing a structural deficit that could bounce to $37 million in the next 10 years. The mayor says everything is on the table to stop that from happening. Today's speech comes days after a report was released by the National Resource Network. On Monday, the report outlined several ideas on how the city can make money. That includes selling the water system, issuing a parking tax, and creating a pay-as-you-throw program similar to the one in Fall River. Public safety can be seen as a concern for the city, most notably the fire department that continues to lose firefighters without the creation of a fire academy. The city is still in a bitter legal battle over the changes to the platoon structures. Another recommendation by Monday's report was to overhaul the fire department again. The National Resource Network says the city should consider lowering the number of firefighters needed for each shift and cut a total of five companies. Before any changes to the department are made, the report says there should be a comprehensive study of the entire force. Now comes the time for the mayor to make his own proposals, and we will have to see which ones the city council supports and which ones they don't. In Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russ and My Witness News.